If there is one person with a personal vendetta against businessman Caliph Cairo, it isn't the clients reportedly chasing him for undelivered cars, but rather a fellow Twitter personality known as Asamo. Twitter was once a platform for friendly banter until Asamo and Cairo crossed paths on the social media app. One is a trained doctor, the other is a trained pilot and a car dealer. These two have kept Twitter users on the edge of their seats with their provocative posts targeting each other. Now, what started as a playful jabs escalated into a full-blown rivalry, with one becoming the subject of mockery while the other reveled in his downfall. Probably to go to Shindana every day, so we'll post. So there's, you'll see, there's a whole week I'll not, I'll not post about cars. Yes. Because probably I'm out of the country uh -huh. with her, you know. Uh -huh. So it turns out, we want to lose focus. So people are entitled to their opinion. And <laughs> you can't really stop focus, them. Uh, so, no, so number one, we really don't care. Uh, we know what people say. But uh, our prayer, this is maybe the answer kama our. Our prayer is that people just have to grow up. Uh, and you don't have to really hate. Find peace with just you. find peace with yourself. Come on, Kuna Dit, Malaya. Eh, ole. ole. Come to terms with it. Kamu lichezo kawacho uh, na de yes, mrembo kama as Sarah. Yes, Again, yes, well. Healing. Healing. Asamo has been Cairo's long-time enemy on Twitter, with their enmity dating back to 2023 when they first crossed each other's boundaries. In that year, Cairo raised by a single mother shared advice for young couples on Twitter saying, there is a Japanese legend that says, Take a broken guy and heal him. He will love you forever. Take a broken girl and heal her. She will leave you broken. And without hesitation, Asamo responded, advising Cairo to reconcile with his father first. Now take dad and reconcile with him. He will love you forever. This struck a nerve leading Cairo to mock Asamo's dead mother in a reply. At least he is not dead like your mother. Hey, hey. Now this comment drew the line for Asamo, who declared all-out war on Cairo. Ever since Asamo has been Cairo's fiercest enemy, leading the charge in any battle to bring Cairo down. Cairo spent days insulting my late mother. That is the day I declared war with him. I will go law on him at every opportunity. He should be guided accordingly, Asamo lamented. Asamo took his revenge to new heights, digging up dirt on Cairo's career and exposing various claims that implicated him negatively. From revealing that Cairo's international trips were funded by someone else to providing evidence of Cairo evading clients who paid for cars that were never delivered, Asamo left no stone unturned. Now, when Cairo was arrested for failing to deliver cars to his clients, Asamo had a field day on Twitter. He mocked lambasted and devoted the entire days to dragging Cairo through the mud. Asamo even traveled to Kasarani police station to confirm Cairo's arrest and documented the ordeal for his followers on Twitter. But the downfall of Caliph Cairo is self-inflicted. He should not blame anyone. Why would a client pay you 100% cost of a car, then six months down the line, you don't deliver? Divert costs and ignore his communications. Stop faking lifestyle too. Don't impress IG hoes, Kai and Caro, as Samo tweeted. He posted photos of Cairo's girlfriend at the police station to prove Cairo's detention, sharing a detailed thread of the entire incident. I am at Kasarani police station and indeed one boy is here. Room 29 double S C I O. I am at Kasarani station to confirm if Caliph Cairo was arrested. I can authoritatively confirm he was locked in cells yesterday. He is still being grilled at the S double C I O office room 29. He was really shocked to see me. Youth must live honestly. Don't get rich quickly through fraud. I have confirmed that Caliph Cairo was arrested and locked up yesterday. 
He is being grilled. I have actually talked to him for a few minutes. After a small chat with Caliph Cairo while he was at the serious crime unit, he didn't realize it was me. Haha, <laughs> my last words to him were watch ukora and shortcuts. I hope you take them seriously. When I told you Caliph Cairo was a con man, you guys thought I was joking. He has cases everywhere. At Kasarani police station, he was locked up yesterday. I found him inside this room. Cairo didn't believe he would see me. Dear young people, stop shortcuts and greed. Now following Asamo's claims of Cairo being a fraud and his arrest for failing to deliver cars, Cairo countered with his narrative. His challenges Mnaon and Ikipitia are very normal in business, especially when a company is growing. Every big entrepreneur at one point must face litigations or money problems, especially when God is taking you to higher levels. To the ones reaching out, I am 100% okay and I will overcome. And despite this intense feud, some netizens believe Cairo and Asamo might actually be workmates collaborating to market Cairo's car importing company. But Asamo has denied these allegations. Others have called on Asamo to forgive Cairo for insulting his late mother and to stop exposing and tainting Cairo's image online. Asamo, however, insists that he cannot forgive Cairo until he apologizes face to face. Our people don't understand Cairo mocked the death of my mom who died of cancer. That's why I can't forgive him. His corn will always be called out, Asamo decried. Some have urged Asamo never to forgive Cairo. Those who are urging us to forgive Cairo should take their nonsense elsewhere. Do they understand what it's like to mock someone whose mother has passed away? Cairo should leave this up. This is the only forgiveness he deserves, one netizen said. But according to your own view on this saga, who do you believe should face the other? Do you think that it's the right time for Cairo and, you know, Asamo make their ways right? Mm -hmm. And if you were Asamo, you yourself, would you forgive Cairo for going that route of maybe insulting somebody close to you who died? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye-bye.